Hello, and this is going to be another sort of annoying video about things that games and stuff get wrong with gas masks. And this is more going to be moaning about masks without filters on or masks without tiny or masks with tiny filters on. Because I've seen lots of people who, for some reason, say, "No, this game's fine. You don't need a filter on a gas mask for it to work." To understand what a filter does plainly to people, and I know for lots of people this is just going to be a boring recap. A filter obviously filters stuff out of the air. You've got your particle filter in the front end, and this is designed to basically trap dust, uh, biological weapons like anthrax spores, things like that, and nuclear fallout being one of the main things. Then the second section is filled with charcoal. You can hear it rattling a bit. Um, and that's impregnated with other metals normally. And the point of that is to adsorb, not absorb, but adsorb uh, poisonous chemicals that would otherwise get through the filter. So the point is... Once they've gone through the filter, obviously, there's the air should be pretty clean, and then the air you're breathing in with the mask on is clean. So a mask's pretty simple. Air is drawn through the filter into the mask one way, and then the only way for the air to get out of the mask is normally through an exhale valve. So basically, it works on negative pressure, and the air flows through in one way. So if you don't have a filter on your mask, it simply won't work. You're just wearing a mask. Now, it might protect you from having acid thrown on your face, or something like that, <clears throat> you know, protect your eyes from bits flying into your eyes and stuff like that, but it's not going to actually protect you from gas at all, because obviously you need the filter to do that. The filter is the bit that does stuff. The mask is basically the bit that protects your face and makes sure the air flows correctly through the filter. So, a mask without a filter is basically a gun without a magazine in it. So when you have films and games where there's people wearing masks and poison gas and they're fine and they don't have filters on the mask, it'd be like watching a film or a game where there's no magazine in your gun, yet you can shoot it fully automatic. That, that's kind of explaining how it works. There's no way for a mask to work against poison gas without a filter on it. Now, there might be one or two exceptions to that. For example, the Russians, and I can never remember the name of it, have a mask which I think is intended for paratroopers because it's designed to be really lightweight, and basically the mask itself is kind of like a particle filter filled with charcoal, um, obviously with two lenses on it as well, and the idea is that um, the mask probably fits in the foil bag you rip open. When it's sealed in the foil bag it will last a few years, so it's very lightweight and small. You rip it open and put it on, and then once you're done with it, you know, it has to be disposed of. The idea is just to make a super lightweight mask. You've got the mask built you know how a dust mask works, it's basically like that for your entire face but also filled with charcoal. The idea is quite clever but it's obviously not practical to give every soldier a mask where you have to throw it away and get a new one every time you need a new mask. So, obviously just to go over this point again, masks need filters to work. So what's this video going to say that I've not said before? Well, filters need to be fairly decent in size. Now you don't have to have a giant coffee can, you know, a big canister filter. But you do need one that's at least sort of this sort of size. <clears throat> Maybe you could get past it being a bit smaller. If it's a particle filter, then you only need roughly the size of this top section, where the ridge is. Um, because a particle filter just literally needs to, <clears throat> you know, stop stuff being breathed in like dust. Now, the thing is with charcoal filters is they need to be fairly big because the surface area works with absorption. So, to put it simply, if your filter's too small, it's not going to stop much because that stuff will just get through it. It's kind of like if you were filtering water, your water filter has to be a certain size. You can't have one tiny thin little thing and expect it to filter water properly. Um, <clears throat> it's just the way filters work, especially things like charcoal. The more charcoal in the filter, the longer the filter will last, the more efficiently it will work. Now, as much as it'd be impractical for carrying it, if you had a hose and you had you know, some filter that was like the size of a 2 litre water bottle, um, something like that would actually be far more efficient at filtering and if I had to use a filter in an emergency scenario I'd rather have that with a hose I think than trust a little small filter where you don't know how long it's going to last. Again, if the gas is in thicker concentrations it's more likely gas will get through the filter or it will expire faster so do keep that in mind. So with the trend of all the things where there's games where um, you know there's no filters I've noticed another trend as well where there's masks that have like these tiny little filters on them there's no way I can really demonstrate this, but imagine you just had like a little flat thing like that. And again, if it's meant to be a particle filter, yes, you can get particle filters that small. The problem being, though, that if you're in a situation where you need a particle filter, now, obviously, if you're just dealing with something that's a small particle and it's very dangerous if inhaled, but there's not much of it around, 
then a particle filter isn't all that important to be all that big. I can understand it in that case. But if you're around something which is going to clog the filter up fairly quickly, you need a bigger particle filter because you need more surface area again. Because if you've not got a big surface area, that filter is going to clog super quickly. So if we just imagined this was your particle filter just sitting there and it was totally flat to it, um, that wouldn't filter much at all. And it's even got to the ridiculous degree where I've seen things that look like little rectangles and, oh, that's the filter apparently. Yeah, it really doesn't work like that because obviously the more, the bigger the filter, the more efficient it is for the most part anyway. So that's another thing where people are saying, oh, but how do you know that it wouldn't filter stuff properly? Well, it's, it's basic science. It's kind of like a physics thing where more the bigger the filter is and the smaller the charcoal and everything in size, the more efficient the filter is. If you have a tiny filter, it can't be efficient at all. Now, let me demonstrate to you why it doesn't work. Here's that weird little Chinese filter I've got, and I tried refilling it and putting new particle filters in it, and it still didn't work. But the point was that these filters hold about that much charcoal, and obviously, as you can see, it's pretty minuscule. Um, let's compare it to the size of a real filter. Wow, do you see the difference in size? Now... Admittedly, it's not really meant to have a particle filter in it, but if we just do that, you'll be able to see how small it is. That's why it doesn't work, really, because if it's that small, the surface area isn't big enough to absorb gas properly. Sorry, adsorb gas properly, which means, um, obviously, you know, not much happens. Again, it was only meant to be um, a particle one and an organic vapor one filter, but you know, it was just crap, it wouldn't even be organic vapour one. Um, so the point being that if you don't have a big enough filter it doesn't really work properly. So if you've got a film or a game or whatever where they've, they've decided to put something that looks like a filter on it but it's so tiny, um, that's not really a filter because the issue is it will either, if it's meant to be against particle threats it will clog like instantly if you're in a dusty environment because you know, the air front of it is so flat that and small that, you know, you can visibly see all the dust in the air. With a couple of mouthfuls of breath, you already pulled loads of dust on there and you're going to clog it. Um, it's the same reason if you've got a really tiny vacuum cleaner, the air filters on those clog really quickly, just simply because the amount of dust it's pulling through it, that filter is just going to clog. And if it's meant to be against poison gases and things like that, well, it's even worse because something this size or smaller won't work because there's not enough surface area inside it to adsorb the gas. So this is another sort of, you know, just silly annoying thing that I'm seeing a lot now in games. I think one of the ones was where people said to me, oh, can you say how effective the masks would be in um, something they added to Rainbow Six Siege recently? And that game's not known for having realistic masks at all, but they had the things where they were like these 3M style masks but with tiny little filters. Now the actual 3M masks have, you know, fairly chunky decent filters. Um, let me just show you. Okay, so here's a 3M7500 with um, two particle filters on each side. And you'll notice, again, these are quite chunky. The surface area of them is actually fairly large. They're relatively flat, but obviously the air intake goes all around the outside at the bottom. So there's lots of spaces for the air to go through. It then goes on to basically a HEPA filter that connects to the mask. So the point being that you've got two of these on each side of the mask and they're actually quite big in surface area even though they're not all that chunky, you know, they're rectangular enough that there's enough surface area that for particle filters they're going to actually be able to block dust. Now, in this catalogue we can look at some like things that came with it, the instructions sort of ordering sheet and see some more particle filters. So 3M do the flat ones you know, like round discs, again they're very flat but they've got a big round surface area they're not like tiny little rectangles. So there's the like, type I've got there, the P3 one in the plastic casing. Um, and there, this is where you've got some of the vapour filters, the A1, K1. And the vapour filters have to be chunkier. Why do they have to be chunkier? Well, because you need to fit enough charcoal in there to adsorb gas. So, there you go. Hopefully you can understand maybe why particle filters can be relatively thin but have to be wide, you know, wideish on the surface. Um, and actually charcoal filters have to be sort of taller or thicker if you like, have higher volume I guess you'd say. Because you need to have enough surface area inside to adsorb gas. So that's why you can't have a tiny little thing, 
you know, the size of maybe where it says 3M there on your mask, you know, like the size of my finger on that white bit. You can't have a filter that big because it would either not work against gas or it would clog from particles within about 20 seconds of breathing through it. So, hopefully that explains it. Um, this is just another thing I kind of wanted to rant about with games where people go, No, you're wrong, they make perfect sense, you just don't know how a filter works.